2020 is left behind and this is a new year 2021. But something that hasn't changed and is still the same is online marketing. Whether you are a designer or someone who is trying to grow their business, this video is for you. In this video, we will learn how to make a simple and eye-catching social media banner using Pixel App application. But for those who doesn't know what is social media banner, let me explain it for you. Social media banners are basically images that we can use on our social media pages to promote our brand, our services and products. We can use these images on social media platforms such as Instagram, YouTube, Twitter and many more. So with that being said, my name is Rishi and this is Android Editing. Let's jump into the tutorial part. So right now I'm in the Pixel App application. First delete this text layer. Then click on this option right here and select the image size. Right now I am selecting the Facebook size because I want to make this banner for Facebook. But you can also select the square size if you want to make it for Instagram. Let me change it back to Facebook cover art. So this is the pretty basic standard size for Facebook banner. Click on the color option to apply a solid color to it. Click on the plus option and select the color that you want to add as a background. Okay, so this color looks uh, pretty good to me. All right, then click on the plus option right here. And from gallery, add the character image which you have. Decrease the size and place it properly. Click on this option right at the top to enable the grid option. So now you can properly align it at the center by looking at the grids. Then click on the layer option here and lock this layer so it doesn't move. Alright, now click on the option here A and click on the text option to add some text to it. Edit the text. Let me quickly add a text. Limited. So basically I'm going to write limited edition. So the first word is limited. Let's add some font to it. So right now I'm going to use the lemon milk font. Link will be given in the description box. You can download it from the description. Once again, click on the grid option. Click on the grid setting option. And then you can drag the grids and place it at left and right of the text, just like this. So by doing this, we will get a idea from where the text is starting and the point at where the text should end. Now copy the text layer and change the text. And similarly place it properly. So first align it towards the right side grid and then drag it and align it with the left side grid. And then finally you can go to the position tool to precisely align it. Let me correct it properly. Alright, now both the text looks aligned properly. Copy both the text layers and simply place it at the bottom of the main text. So whenever we need to align some text properly, we will use the grid setting. 
all right then click on the color option here click on plus option and decrease the opacity of the color to zero click on ok and click on tick then scroll down and find the stroke option right here it is enable it select the white color because we want to add a white stroke to it and the stroke width should be one or two i will keep it at one now do the same steps with the second text which is addition first go to color option click on plus and decrease the opacity of the white color to zero then go to the stroke option select the white stroke and then set the stroke width to one Now click on the layer option right here. Click on this option at the bottom and then merge the top two layers by selecting them. Click on this option and then click on OK to merge both the layers. So now it is one complete layer. Repeat the same steps with the next two layers. Okay, so now we have two layers of text. Click on the grid option to enable it and then click on the magnet option right here. It will help to align the text properly at the center. Make a copy of this text layer and place it at bottom. And then send both the text layers to back. Click on plus option right here. Click on shapes and increase the radius to 100. And then we will apply a blue color to it. You are obviously free to select any color but uh, right now I am going to select the blue color. Once again click the grid option and align it properly at the center. Make sure the magnet option is turned on because Using that option you can easily align it at the center. Then click on the layer option and bring the circle layer below the character image. That's it. Now select the third text layer which we have and place it at the center. Now we want to add an effect to this text layer. We can call it as masking so for that purpose click on the plus option go to shapes and add a shape layer select the black color go to the layer option once again select the circle layer and make a copy of the circle layer Then go to the color option and apply white color to this circle. And then once again align it to the center using the grid options. Then click on the layer option. And then merge the top two layers. Scroll down and go to the erase color option. Enable it and it will automatically remove the white color from the layer. So there was two colors white and black 
and this option automatically removes the white color and then set the tolerance to 70. Once again click on layer option and merge the second two layers. This layer and the text layer which we have just behind it. So now we just need to remove the black color from it. So merge both the layers. Go back to erase color and enable it. And as you can see it automatically removes the white color which removes the text. But here we want to remove the black color. So click on the pointer option right here. And now you can select the color that you can remove. So select the black color because we want to remove the black color from here and then click on tick so in this way it will remove the black color leaving behind the white text and then set the tolerance to 70. now you are free to apply any color to the text but the white one looks good so i will go with the white one okay so that was the important part of the banner Remaining part is uh, pretty easy, simply adding more text to it and uh, aligning them properly. So I will speed up the process because the video is uh, becoming very longer. Alright, so here is the text uh, new arrival. Click on the line spacing option here and decrease it. Minus 10 is uh, perfect for me. You can uh, try other values and see. Okay, now click on the grid option here on the top. Click on grid setting. But uh, before that, make sure you turn off the magnet option because we don't need it anymore. Then click on grid setting, drag it and place it on the left side of the text uh, new arrival. And then when you are done with that, Close the grid setting. So now we have a grid and we have to align all the text against the grid. So let me quickly add more text to it. Let me add a font, a Nexa bold font. Link will be given in the description box. Then click on align option and then click on this option right here. By doing so, it will align all the text towards the right side which we want. And then you can uh, properly place it against the grid. Adding more text to it, shop now. Alright. Then click on the plus option here. Click on shapes and decrease opacity to zero. And let's make a border around the shop now text. You can take your time and do it more precisely to get uh, more better results. Alright, then scroll down and set the stroke width to 1 or 2. Apply white color to the stroke. And then make sure you select the third option from here. Okay, so now select the shop now text once again and using the position tool I can uh, position it more precisely and then from gallery I will add the same character image which I had slightly increasing the size of the image And then click on the layer option and lock all the layers so it doesn't move. Now these texts are not aligned to the center so select the text layers. Also the new arrival layer. 
and then click on this option right here not this one this one yeah and then click on this arrow option right here then decrease it to 1 px turn on the grid option here it will help in understanding the center point and then you can properly align it to the center save it in png and ultra quality so that was all for this video i really hope you have learned something new from this video make sure you drop a like and comment and also share the video with your friends whether a graphic designer or someone who is starting a business a poster or a social media banner is a very basic thing and you do not need any pc software to make it you can do all these things just using your mobile phone so with that being said let's end up the video stay safe and keep creating